Meanwhile, at home, Xi Jinping is not having it easy. For all the propaganda in the world, the chinks in his armor are widening and showing. So they reopened Wuhan with much fanfare. There was a grand celebration. The idea was to tell the world that China is fighting back, that China is back in business. Well, here's what the Chinese media is not reporting. Labor unrest. Thousands of Chinese workers have lost their jobs. They're now up in arms against their bosses and the political establishment for a change. Here's a report. These videos are from a news report published by the Epoch Times. It shows pictures and clips from Chinese social media. Factories have reopened, but they have no work. Angry business owners allegedly broke their own machinery in protest. More clips claim workers are out on the streets to protest layoffs. The source of these videos remains unclear. What is clear, though, is the source of China's worries. The country is struggling with unemployment. Last month, China's Ministry of Human Resources and Social Security said more than 2.3 million people have received jobless benefits. Some experts say China could be underplaying those numbers. China Labor Bulletin is an NGO based in Hong Kong. It is tracking the labor unrest inside China. A dashboard on its website shows more than 100 cases of labor unrest since January. China Labor Bulletin has recorded more than 70 disputes since March. This is when the coronavirus outbreak had hit its peak in China. Data says that workers from different industries are protesting. This includes textile wholesalers. They carried out a demonstration in a market in Guangzhou to demand a break on rent. Taiwanese contract manufacturer GNDC saw protests outside its head office on the 20th of April. This company has been cutting part-time jobs. 20 players from the pro soccer team Liaoning Hongyong Football Club are taking legal action. They haven't received their salaries. Unemployment is definitely on China's mind. Last month, the China Communist Party held a meeting on the economy. President Xi Jinping had chaired it. The party identified six areas or six insurers that will be their priority. Employment was on top of the list, but the growing protests tell a different story. The Communist Party is facing growing public anger. Xi Jinping's strong grip on power now faces another challenge. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One.